Hello, this is Vaughn Clement. This is Hiker Biker Pro for Android and iOS. It's a new application that's being released in 2013, November. This application is designed for sports enthusiasts who are hikers, walkers, and bikers. Uh, the application starts where there are a series of screens that are provided, and I'm going to cover those. And then on the front screen, which we're looking at here, is an introduction to the application and the purpose behind the application. There's some using uh, this application uh, information on the next screen and copyright and support information on the third screen. The purpose of this uh, tutorial is to walk you through how to use this screen using the video help icon on the first screen. Uh, I'm going to explain that this video help and all the video helps for this application are going to be presented through the trail websites screen and they're going to be listed A1 through the number of screen videos that are going to be provided and they'll be named so you'll know which one they are. Uh, it'll help you very easily to understand the application and how the principal screens work. I'm going to give you a little overview right now. Uh, the first screen is called trail location. And this is to document a series of screens that cover the different trails for both hiking, biking, or it could be a city trail where you just walk the path even through the city or through parks, but you want to document that particular location at the trail beginning and information about the uh, amenities and also the uh, information about the date, time, and where you were at and what your feelings are about the trail that you, you hiked. Uh, the next one is the trail live maps where you can use either uh, Google Maps or and or MapQuest. It's your choice if you have a Wi-Fi connection and it'll present maps to you so you can do detailed views and search through the maps. Part of this process is to be able to also take screen captures of the live maps and add them to the trail map copy. In this screen, you can take the uh, individual maps and do zoom in or whatever that you want to, uh, to whatever magnification you want to, and then make a copy of them for the trail map copies. One of the principal neat, uh, uses for the trail map copy is if you're in a location, and I have been many times where the Wi-Fi is not available, you can still carry your maps along with you. Uh, one of the issues with a new location, if you haven't trailed, been on the trail or haven't traveled on that particular uh, location before, you can use the copy maps to make individual maps where you don't have to search again for the current map or if you don't have a Wi-Fi, you still have maps that are available to you to give you that trail direction at where you reach a Y in the road and you don't know which way to go. Uh, if it's not marked correctly. Even if it is marked correctly, it does uh, assume that it is helpful in keeping track of where you're at and how much further you have to travel on a trail to get to the location where you'd like to go. Trail Photos is an, a screen where you can capture along the way vid uh, videos or and or still shots and keep a record of those in the videos and trail photos and mostly this would be still shots, uh, so you don't have to fill up your, um, your iPad. You could shoot the iPad videos, and if you want to put one in the screen, you can do that. But you, this is typically used for uh, uh, photos along the way as you're traveling on the trail or hiking and biking. The last screen is a helpful screen where all the trail and websites that are related to finding trails finding information about the trails <clears throat> where you would want to probably get the trail location data and other information can be acquired and this gives you the ability within the app to pick that particular location or uh, website to provide you with uh, detailed information about uh, the sport that you are involved with. Now the trail websites also will take the video helps and list them and you'll be able to, when you click on this button on any screen or one that is video help on those screens, 
will take you to the trail websites where each uh, individual screen video, video help would be listed and you can go ahead and watch us directly through the application from YouTube. If you have any questions about how this application is used, uh, the video help should be the best help, but if you need to, you can use the support site and contact us either by email or and or phone or through Skype. Uh, the Skype address and information is listed on the copyright and support screen. If you click on that screen, You'll, go, you'll be able to see the actual uh, information for the support. And this is the different addresses and information for contacting us and the times. If you have any questions, please contact me by email first. That's the quickest way to get a hold of me. And I see those emails all the time. Thank you.